Hello, this is Matt Hughes from Kinetal IT and welcome again to our productivity series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at something that is quite important to a lot of people and that is the passwords that they use for various different services. Now, one of the complaints we get about passwords is that the passwords are too hard to remember. So people forget them and of course if they forget them they write them down which is very insecure. We also get the complaint that people have uh, the same password for many different services. So if somebody happens to or some service happens to get hacked and they lose the password and they have to go and change their password on a whole bunch of different services. So the way we solve this problem in our own business is we use something called LastPass. And we'll go and take a look at LastPass and we'll just talk about uh, quickly about what LastPass is and what it does for you. So LastPass is a uh, password storage service and basically it remembers all your passwords for the various different services that you use and it allows you more importantly to create complex passwords for these different services. Now that's not really doing LastPass uh, very much justice, there's a whole bunch more important things that it does, but let's just for now take a look at the service, get signed up for it, um, add a couple of passwords to it and see how it works. So of course we're going to start with LastPass free, we like things that are free and um, straight away once I say uh, get LastPass it's going to add this extension to Chrome. So I'm in Chrome right now. Uh, if I add the extension, it adds it to Chrome. There is an Internet Explorer extension. There's a Firefox one as well. Here we go. Right, so it's telling us the password manager has been added. And this is a thing that you're looking out for here as you start to use this. Now, if I sign up to it, matt.parker at kinetto.it, agree to the services and create my account. Now, here's the... The kicker really, uh, what you need to do here is create a password, something that you're going to remember and something that's pretty strong. So it tells me that my password is pretty strong, asks me to confirm it again and it tells me to set up a reminder, something clever. Right, so my passwords match. Uh, confirm my master, master pass, password. Uh, just remember here, what it says is we never store the master password. And you might think that's strange. How can you sign up to a service that doesn't know your password? Well, again, we'll go in into that into some detail um, as we unlock the vault. Basically, what happens is uh, they take your password that you, you and only you know. They use what's called a hash in their environment. They combine the two and with those two they create a unique identifier for you. That's kind of the easiest way I can explain it. So if you don't remember your password it will not match up with their hash and you won't be able to get into the password vault which is where all your passwords are stored. So if we take a look at the vault, I need to sign into it of course remembering my master password if I say remember here, it tells me off. It says, are you sure you want it to remember? Because if you do and you, your device is stolen and somebody gets into it, they'll be able to get into all your passwords as well. But for demo purposes, I'm going to say remember. Ordinarily, I wouldn't because I want to keep making sure that every day I put this password in when I go to my vault and uh, that way I won't forget it. So that's the one master password. And you'll see now I'm signed into uh, LastPass. You can see that my vault has gone red. So if I jump into the vault here, now what I'll do is uh, we're in this account now and um, I'm going to go and sign into Office 365 so that I can show you what happens when it tries to remember your password. So I'm going to use matt.parker at kinetto.it and then I'll use my super secure password here. So I can say keep you signed in and I sign in. Now, of course, Chrome wants me to save the password. But what will also happen is LastPass now says to me, do you want to add this to your vault? And I say, yeah, that's a good idea. I can add it to my vault. And it saved that password for me as well. If I go and look in here, you can see that it's added this uh, password into my vault. It knows what the service is. 
it's got a bunch of these logos if you go to eBay, PayPal, all that kind of thing, it knows. And then if I go um, away from this, so let's say I sign out of uh, Office 365 um, and go back to it. Now when I go to log in, it then offers me the chance to use the stored account. See, I don't have to remember that password anymore. I hit sign in and um, then I'm into my account. So let's take a look at that on one of the other things that we could use. So let's let's say for example Facebook. Okay, so what I did there is I I paused the recording and just set up Facebook here. So you can see I've set up my Facebook account. And of course when I come to Facebook now I can click on the little um login button, the little uh, last pass button, and I can click on that and it will log me in here no problem. Now you might think, well this is fine, this is a good little thing that uh, is useful here. But actually, uh, it's a little bit more than this because what I can also do is, let's say I'm signing up for another account. I'm going to go to gmail.com and I'm going to say, yeah, actually I'd really like to create an account. And of course it asks me here when I'm creating the account what my password would be. Well, you'll notice that I've got this little icon here now as well. And this will then allow me to create a um, a secure password so I can say there's more options I can say how big do I want my password to be I want a 40 character password I want it easy to say or I might want it easy to read I want to have a combination of lowercase numbers uppercase etc etc and now I've got a super super secret password I'm going to copy that on there as well and then I'm going to fill it in so look at the size of that password it's huge so now what I can do is once I've signed up into that form, it will then last pass with an ask me, do you want to save this password, this super secure password that you've just created? Nobody's going to get into that anymore, but it will be stored inside my vault. And okay, Matt, this sounds great. This is a, all part of a, a good secure way of managing your passwords. And then what I can also do, if, I, if I'm in a team now, I can then take some of these passwords and I can share them with people. This is where I find this really useful. So I'm part of a team and I've got a digital marketing apprentice with us at the moment. Uh, what I want to do is I want to share this um, account with that digital marketing apprentice. I can click on share and I can put her name in here. So she has an account with LastPass and I can say that Christina can see my password or I can say that she doesn't see my password. And if I hit share now, actually what happens is she gets a re request it's just telling me I need to verify my email address, which I'll do that in a second. Um, she'll get a request and it will say, Are you, do you want to accept this share request? But the great thing about this also is because I didn't tick the box to say allow to see password, Christina can accept this account. She can go to Twitter. She can log into Twitter here, but she will not see my password. And that's a wonderful thing because it means that I can share all of these things out. If Christina ever leaves the organization, I can come along here and I can say, actually, I don't want her to have access to this anymore. And I can cancel it or delete it or unshare it, which is the, which is the, um, the main thing that I'd probably do. You can share folders if you set up folders within the uh, LastPass system. And uh, you can see who you've shared it with and who shared things with you as well. And this works with external people. So if I work with an agency and I want them to be able to log into one of my systems, but I don't want them to share the password with them, um, or I want to be able to manage the fact that I've shared that with them for a short period of time, this will then allow me to do that. It's a wonderful part of the, the whole system is that ability to share those usernames and passwords. Right, okay, so I think I've uh, taken enough of your time for this particular video. Uh, this is LastPass. It's an uh, amazing productivity tool and I would encourage anybody uh, that's interested in, in being secure within their lives to try LastPass. It's not the only uh, tool that provides this kind of service, but it's the one I use and I'm happy to recommend it to other people as well. So I've been Matthew Hughes from Kinetal IT. Thank you for joining us in this productivity series. I hope you come back and subscribe to our channel and check out the rest of the videos in the series.